tournament run at, at Apex. I believe he finished fourth? Yeah, I think it was in fourth. top eight. And it was, yeah, it was, like it was, I think it, yeah, it definitely it was. It feels like last year. <laughs> I'm going home. We're done here. <laughs> anyway. And uh, now the, the buzz is, uh, went Rosalina, I believe, in that matchup. But again, a matchup that once upon a time felt like an unwinnable matchup for Ness, but has uh, since become uh, much closer. Uh, now the buzz rocking with the, uh, with the ALF right now. So he's got the squad with him. So got the whole squad dying in the group chat. I kind of miss the the, the veggies or uh, buzz veggies. <laughs> buzz that, veg. Yeah, I don't know. The squad, though, is correct. I yeah. mean, this is one of the masters of Olimar. When you think Olimar, you think, obviously, to buzz. You also think Myron. So I'm interested to see how Syrup's going to be able to kind of get rid of all of these Pikmin, right? So far, doing a very decent job using yeah. a lot of these aerials to kind of get the anti-airs out. But this just gives DeBuzz more time to kind of get set up with the lineup that he actually wants when you think about it. Yeah, this definitely allows DeBuzz to apply pressure from a distance. Uh, but also, I'm, I'm curious to see how Syrup goes about, uh, you know, approaching with offense when the Pikmin are on top of him. Because again, this is a character who I still feel like has a, has, has a place in the metagame. It's still very, very solid. Uh, but not a lot of people play this character. Like you mentioned, it's sort of more of a specialist sort of character. Not, right. not chicken fingers, more like a French onion <laughs> soup at the diner. What? Not everybody. So, you know, <laughs> there's onions in there. It makes sense. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a genius. Two purple Pikmin already, though, and you know DeBuzz just potentially wants a white Pikmin in there, too. But looking for some of the aerials with that purple once again. Syrup trying to line up for the oh, there. But unfortunately, what? you're going to hit the red Pikmin on the way down. And DeBuzz say, you know what? I still have those purples. That's so unfortunate for Syrup. But going to be able to find the forward air. And because DeBuzz and Olimar are so light, that is definitely stuck. Yeah, excellent stuff there from Syrup. Again, you know, the, the thing about this matchup is that, you know, I, I feel like Ness in particular is going to be able to provide enough damage tertiary, you know, to be able to net those KOs. Uh, but the thing about fighting Olimar that is, you know, everybody has to keep in mind is that the lead can slip away from you so fast. This character is able to snowball with some of the best in the game. As you see right now, Syrup's already at, you know, 75%, and he just got on the second stock. Yeah. So, you know, the the window for, for Wiggle Room is very, very small against Olimar. You yeah, have to we... really figure out your game plan quickly. Otherwise, you're uh, potentially knocking on death's door uh, like Syrup is right now. For sure, and already blue Pikmin out as well. So we have another win condition for the stock here, but Syrup unfortunately gonna fly a little bit above the ledge for DeBuzz. And now DeBuzz just looking for a smash attack, potentially looking for a uh, throw too with those two blues there. That is a recipe for disaster, but the up air instead, just gonna throw one of the blues away as well. I was watching an Olimar yesterday during Kyojo Jojo, that is Shuton, and I love the way he purposefully manually, like, picks his lineup. I yeah. feel like a lot of the time some Olimar is just kind of freestyle, but I love when you're intentionally kind of rotating your characters. Through. Yeah. I mean, it makes it much easier to do now. You know, they've really, they've streamlined the order in which the Pikmin come out, so it makes it much easier to kind of stack your deck uh, you know, in your favor. We didn't just lose. I didn't lose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> As you can see right now, the buzz kind of on the ropes here, but still in about to lap zero been percent. And again, this is what you know I was talking about before where the lead can slip away from you so quickly in this matchup that you know you're not really going to have much room to you know to uh, operate in, in a comeback scenario. So going to get the grab here. I can be enough for the KO just yet. Yeah, unfortunate too. The buzz though going to get launched up by the up air. It's also not going to be enough. But still, this is all necessary damage that Syrup needs. Unfortunately, it's not a throw, but oh my goodness. I like how DeBuzz is trying to channel it or tr trying to challenge it. There it is. There's the word. Uh, but honestly, Syrup, that back throw is just all reliable for Ness at this point. Right, Atorna, please say challenge. <laughs> so, last stock scenario here. Again, you know, not something that can't be made up, but again, 80% already on the tab. You know, it's as if you, you, you blink once and all of a sudden you're... Uh, <laughs> you, you, you blink once and suddenly you're at, you know, 87%. So let's see what Syrup has left in the gauntlet here. Because, again, like I mentioned, the buzz is able to provide damage from a distance. Right. Especially, you know, with uh, you know these red and white Pikmin, you know, that, that do the latch damage. So Two purples, though, Koopa. This is starting to spell disaster very, very soon. I still think also we are in best of three territory. So definitely not a set you want to go down in at all. It's to Buzz going to throw out the two purples, going for the shield damage, though, with the smash attack. And Syrup still just trying to get this yellow Pikmin off of him. The dash attack, though, into the PK fire. And now, honestly, DeBuzz just has to pick an option here on how you want to get the KO. Blue is there, too. Honestly, a throw could do it. Yeah, it's either, you know, it's the illusion of choice. You know? <laughs> right. It's, it's, do you walk down the path with two purple Pikmin that can up smash you at a shield, or do you walk down the path with the blue Pikmin that can grab you? So, 
Pick your poison at this point, Zero. No pun, in, you know. Ooh, going for the smash attack like you said, so close, but now to Buzz, gonna get caught in the PK fire. One forward air is going to connect, but the trade there is going to allow for DeBuzz to get back into center stage, only for a brief moment though. Still, I feel like Syrup now is very, very wary of all these Pikmin, right? Not throwing out yep. any attacks, but just instead jumping away, recognizing I just cannot get hit anymore. But now DeBuzz starting to close Whoa! in the gap very slowly. Three perps? Yeah, three purples, a couple of them flowered too. This is just the recipe for absolute disaster. Disaster, but Syrup gonna be able to find the PK fire into back air. We're looking close. The up air with all that rage? Definitely not, but next one will definitely do it. Oh. Unless you fall out of your <laughs> dumb boss, and that is so unfortunate, Koopa. That makes me sad. Yeah, I'm definitely playing sad trombone music in my head right now. That is unfortunate stuff if you're Syrup. Again, you, you play the entire game playing cat and mouse, playing from behind, only for that to happen to you at the end. That's tough. So let's take a look at it one more time. You see the buzz has, you know, uh, the squad bricked up right now with the purple <laughs> pick. So falls out of the up air and again, just going to land with the down air and that's going to net the KO. So uh, again, rough stuff for Syrup right there, especially, you know, you spend the entirety of the game, like you mentioned, playing from behind. Right. That could definitely be one that kind of takes the wind out of your sails a bit if you're not, if you know, if you're, you know, maybe a, a, a lesser player. <laughs> but, you know, Syrup has definitely been in, in these traits before and it has a buzz uh, win you know, in his repertoire already, so. Right. Also looking very comfy right I now. I was about to say, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that looks, looks so, that, that Sherpa? Looks it definitely soft. looks Sherpa. I, I also wanted to say that you can never really tell what Syrup's thinking. Like, he is definitely yeah. not an emotive type of player, which I very much appreciate. I love the players that are kind of moving around in their chair, you know, what we yeah. used to call <laughs> Mario Kart DI, yes. where you're just kind of like moving left with your character. But I love the players that are just so stoic. They don't show an ounce of emotion. And that's Syrup. And honestly, we're going to small battlefield here. So we're going to close the gap just a little bit closer than PS2. Oh, all right, just never mind. kidding. Yep, all right. Uh, <laughs> commentators that are wrong. All right, I don't know. The buzz hates the song. You know what? That is some legacy right there. That is like, hey, um, actually, that would be like a top player walking up to like a setup and being like, hey, uh, can you guys get off? And then everybody would be like, all right, yeah, cool set. This is why this is why the buzz should be everybody's favorite top player. Like. Is he not everybody's favorite? Okay, that's actually really hard because I think in this game there's a lot of personalities that are like amazing top players, right? You have like DeBuzz for like so many of these memes. You also have like Riddles is one of my favorite top players for just like all the hype. Obviously, Leo, Spargo. Like there are so many players that you really want to cheer for oh, in yeah. this game. Uh, obviously, we're all from Tri State. Oh, I love this song. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. It's uh, Psycho Soldier, oh, yeah. I think. Get the one with the words in it. The yeah, I got it. Got it. This song absolutely rips. 39, uh, 39 Tekken songs, by the way, and like six Kingdom Hearts songs from DLC. Hey, man. Works for me. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Tekken, Tekken rules. I don't know how many Fatal Fury songs they put in with Terry, though. I want to say like close Who to Who cares? Cycle Soldier's the only one I need. That's, you know what? You're right. Regardless, so now we're going to get started on Small Battlefield because yes. top player DeBuzz just, you know, needs to play with his music. Yeah. He, listen, man, the Oxcord the is an important responsibility in any Smash setup, so... Now that we have this power and this technology, we must utilize it. So <laughs> we're going to get uh, things started here. And again, if Syrup's able to kind of, you know, take control early, this definitely spells a different type of game where you can do things like this. You know, we're, we're able to see Syrup take control of the game. This is uh, Syrup's punish game. His ability to push is what makes him such a scary player, uh, you know, with the avenues he can take. Uh, but Olimar doesn't always give you that luxury because Olimar can also accelerate damage incredibly quickly. So for sure. PK Thunder, though. One of the things, though, yeah, that you're always looking for on a Syrup edge guard, especially off the side, you're looking for that PK fire to hit and then into the down air. But so far, it is just going to be the catch on the up smash that does send DeBuzz off. And now Syrup very comfortably boarding the platforms. You can tell what he wants, right? He wants to drop off that platform, get the PK fire, and then continue with the onslaught of Ness aerials. But right now, DeBuzz looking to close the gap just a little bit further. Last game, he was playing from so far away, and now he's really playing up close and personal, right? You're down. You don't want to camp when you're down. No, absolutely not. So you see Serum able to navigate behind with the PSI Magnet. Again, a staple in the Nest move set. There you go. Gets that offstage PK uh, fire, like you mentioned. Yeah, that's definitely been a real, uh, you know, crux of the matchup here. The buzz <laughs> sticking his hand in the fire. The up throw from the blue picker not going to be enough just yet. So that's throw could be a little stale here. 
got to take your time to coming off the ledge versus DeBuzz in this lineup. I feel like no matter where you went at that point, DeBuzz was chasing and just the perfect spot on the purple that is going to do it. I want to get the blue out of there, but still Syrup in the lead right now. Trying to get the shield bust, but still not going to be enough. There's the PK Thunder oh. going for the up air too. One of the things that I love about Syrup is his advantage state, right? Like the way that this kid links the hits together, it's so impressive. And now still going to unfortunately get popped up a little bit. So now Syrup actually going to back up and say, you know what? Uh, let me not try and mash my way out of this. But now DeBuzz still just pulling the lineup that he needs. But Syrup finding a lot of these anti-airs. Yeah, but we got a key change in the song, so now DeBuzz can't lose. So <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's usually what ends up happening in the movies. So here we go. The back air will connect right there again, keeping it close. That's all you can really ask for in a matchup like this. Whoa! <laughs> Swinging for the fences there. But again, you can do that. You're Olimar. Or Alf, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Someone's going to be mad at you for that one. <laughs> whatever. I'm Ooh, okay. Just the up tilt there. Going for the PK Thunder damage. Honestly, back throw is definitely going to decimate DeBuzz at this point. But DeBuzz looking to keep this rage. But honestly, DeBuzz has also done a really good job of bringing this game back to you. I mean, yep. it was a very slow and steady pace that he brought it back. The aerial will not be able to take it. But now going all the way out there for the edge guard. Ness's air flow on this air dodge is insane. But not going to be enough. DeBuzz going to be able to stabilize. But nothing a back throw can't do, yeah. right? Ness definitely has real plastic bag in the wind energy. <laughs> so, if, again, it's one of it's one of the reason, many reasons why certain matches that were bad for him are now better because he just has so much drift on his, uh, you know, defensive recovery. But goes high, the up air connects. There you go. So it's amazing what happens when your moves look together. You said plastic bag energy, and I immediately thought of the Katy Perry, the Katy Perry song. You know what? Just, Do you ever I'm, feel I'm, like a plastic bag? I'm just every day. <laughs> every day. Thanks every for asking. Oh, though, going to be able to find the first PK fire into triple forward air, so still at least in the percentage lead, at least for only a moment. DeBuzz, though, going to be able to find the Pikmin mark here. Going to pull the purple and the blue, so we have to watch these lineups. The lineup is starting to get deadly soon, so you know that Syrup wants to end this game as fast as possible. Looking for the stall back air. That's always so satisfying yeah. to see hit. <laughs> well, yeah, multiple people are starting to type in the group chat right now, so... <laughs> If you're Syrup, you definitely have to be aware of the lineup you have out right now. But also, he's in the lead. So, again, you just have to con continue to push his advantage state. You know, not let the, uh, the buzz pull the pick that he needs. He has two purples and a red right now. So, definitely some real, uh, you know, chaotic uh, firepower he has to play with. But we'll see if, uh, you know, the buzz get that chance. I don't know if Syrup's going to necessarily let him. Ooh, okay. Whoa, way, bro. Purple hit, not going to be enough, though. Still has the two purple. Great air dodge up from Syrup. Let's see how he's going to be able to get up from ledge here at this point. Has the blue out. That's so important, Koopa. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, the double roll into the grab, into the up throw, just as the buzz planned it. All thanks to the music counter pick. I don't think yeah, it would have won, <laughs> won, won that game without it, truthfully. But. Imagine. <laughs> I definitely blame losses on the, on the music. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> won't even okay, keep. you're playing in tournament. Whoa, that's it. Whoa, what just happened? Hey, uh, Kelvin, I'm just letting you know we lost total vision of the feed up here, and we are now on the PS5. <laughs> so if somebody could come and fix it for us at, before we get into our next set, um, while we talk about something else, what is your song counter pick in this game? Oh man, for the longest time it used to be Cutman's theme. Ooh, okay. Um, that's Out a fun of nowhere. one. Yeah, I, I love I like that, that song. One too. Um, I'm a big fan of Sonic Heroes, obviously, you know, kind of playing into my, into, into what Be I Be honest, is that game good or not? It's fun. Does, <laughs> yeah. does it mean it's good? No. But it's actually my favorite Sonic game to watch uh, Speed Ran. So. Okay, if you guys that's are, interesting. If, if you guys are ever bored, like, if you're, you know, if you're looking through your, uh, you know, your vices at 5 a.m. YouTube, uh, definitely I recommend looking up Sonic uh, Heroes Speed Runs. I think my counter pick when I'm playing Zelda and I'm really feeling like the Zelda mood, I am going Mulgara. Okay. But if I am not feeling Zelda and I'm playing Aegis or I'm playing my solo Zard, which is absolutely terrible, <laughs> um, I go Dual Zone from 64 because Dual Zone's Ooh. a fire song. That's, 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 that's a fun one. That is a fire one. Hey, there uh, we there go. We Replay. Go. Yeah, hey, Gio. yeah, Thank yeah, you, Gio. yeah. Shout out to Fix My Sticks. Uh, fix My TV. How about that? <laughs> am I right? So. Still gotta be. You're funny. Regardless. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I really tried. Okay. You did. You know how you did. commentary rules like never make your co-caster look bad. 